What's up guys? I hope everyone's excited for the weekend. It is Friday. I'm bringing you an assassinate match on Castel Gandolfo. And as you can see, I am not using smoke bomb. I am using throwing knives and poison. I played a bunch of games yesterday with no smoke. I tried out a bunch of different abilities. And I've come to the conclusion that knives and poison is probably my favorite. You have to play a little bit more stealthy, a little bit more cautiously, which is definitely a lot different than I usually play, but it's actually really fun, um, and I think it takes a lot more skill than using smoke, as I've stated many times. Smoke just does not take very much skill in this game anymore. So yeah, you're going to see a lot of lock derps, because this game has shitty locking. You're going to see a lot of cautious, strategic play by me in this match but I hope you guys enjoy it because I am not using smoke bomb and I have to take extra precautions to avoid everyone else's smoke bomb and I don't know it's kind of interesting playing this way oh and here comes the first lock derp yeah like 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 I click I'm like my fucking thing is like right over his fucking face like I'm clicking it and of course other people are running around so obviously the game's like no I want to lock fucking everyone else but the person you're aiming your goddamn trigger at. Yeah, that's that's definitely how you should have designed this game, Ubisoft. That's definitely what you want to do when you design a game like it's fucking ideal right there. And that was very unfortunate. He exposed me right before I got my silent. Um, that's okay. Reckless is variety too, even though I'll probably get like 50 more reckless kills in this game. Oh, oh I, here's where I go tunnel vision and uh, don't notice the guy right behind me. Yep, there he is, and I'm dead. <laughs> so, as you can see, not the best start to this game. But um, I'm still getting used to this set. Um, knives are pretty hard to use against people with smoke bomb, especially if you're going for stuns. Like, you have to, like, you have to basically outweigh all of their abilities, especially if they have smoke and mute. I mean, they drop their smoke. You go in, they still have mute, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Now right here, I'm like, I'm spamming poison. Oh, but of course the X disappears. The X, the X disappears as I get like right next to him. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, and look at right here. I just lock him, and my lock disappears when he goes around the corner. Like, what is that? Like, what the fuck is that? Like, I just locked him. Yes, I know after like four or five seconds your lock is supposed to go away, but instantly after I lock him and like he goes around the corner, the lock just like leaves? No, that's not. That's not cool. That's not how the game should work. And that's not how I want to play this game. I don't want to play a game where my lock can just randomly disappear whenever the fuck it wants to. That's not cool. I hope AC3 doesn't have these problems. Like, this game is just so fucking infuriating sometimes. I just want to, like, throw my controller against my TV, break the fucking screen, and just, like, continue by fucking grabbing my Xbox and throwing it out the goddamn window. Like, no, not, not really. But, like, this game seriously pisses me off sometimes. Like... The simplest things, like all I ask for is a little bit of, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, I can't think. Consistency, that's what I'm looking for. All I ask is for a little bit of consistency and I, I just don't get it. I don't get the consistency I need to play this game competitively, especially when I'm not using Smoke Bomb. And I feel like most people crutch on their smoke bomb so bad. I mean, the fact that it pulls people out of kill animations, like everyone's just crutching on their smoke bomb. And I understand, like everyone's using smoke bomb, you kind of have to, you know, you have to use smoke bomb if you want to do the best you can possibly do. I completely understand that. But that doesn't change the fact that smoke bomb is of almost no skill ability. I mean, you have to have a, a slight remote inkling of timing, but I mean, like even that, like you don't have to have much timing. Like you just kind of have to like press the button in the remote time frame needed, and it just works wonders and stops time. Like I don't know. I don't know. This game, they just they mess this game up so much. Like I just I hope the lock system is like I don't know, remotely good compared to this because this is just absolutely fucking ridiculous. There's definitely more times in this game where I have locking problems, and I'll point out every single one because I can tell right away when things aren't working like they should. See, now that was a clearly late smoke bomb. Like, 
if you have that bad of timing, even the overpowered smoke bomb's not gonna save you. But I mean, who knows? On his screen, that might have been a good smoke bomb. Lag, you know, whatever. All right, so 4:55 left. I'm in second place. I think I have around 4,000 points right now. So I'm gonna have to pick it up if I'm gonna get to where I need to be. 1,700 points behind. And looks like a couple people are right behind me. Even though they're using smoke bomb, I don't know how they're behind me. But that's besides the point. Alright. Go for a double kill here. Pull off a very nice double kill there. The beauty of poison and why I definitely choose it as one of my main abilities a lot of the time. And I'm not sure why he dropped the smoke there. I guess because there was another person that was poisoned, just protecting himself in case the in case the poison person, you know, went for the kill there. And now there, I I'm really glad I spammed the X button. Like that would have been bad. And oh yeah, that's right. Run into the smoke bomb, lose your lock, and then get stunned by me at max range. I I like that. I'll take that free hidden streak bonus. So as you can see, now I'm tied for first place with, uh, I don't know, whoever's in first place besides me. I don't know, all I know is these, uh, these people are like between 10 and 15 prestige, and oh yeah, here's my reward for not using smoke. I get a free, you know, focus silent AFK kill on uh, Blood Edge. Yeah, see, that that's my reward. I get something for, for uh, using a skillful ability set. In a world of skill of smoke bombs, ready to storm wake is using skillful abilities. Pulled off a knife stun there. Not sure if this guy just didn't have smoke bomb or if he's just not aware that I can stun him while he's knifed, but either way, I'll take it. And these people are just running around like crazy. Get an escape here. Oh no, didn't get an escape, it just incorrectly showed me that I was in a chase. I will get an escape here though. There we go. Out of sight escape. Close call. Go ahead and get a poison here. And another kill. See, my lock disappeared there too. My lock literally disappeared right after I applied it. Like there's no there's no reason for that. Why would your lock disappear right after you apply it? There was no smoke bomb there. I just I don't understand. Like the mechanics of this game just boggle me. Like there's no consistency. You cannot expect things to happen like they should. Oh, I, I, I like this play, like, right here. Alright, I hop into this hidden group, he drops the smoke, I stay out of range, get my silent hidden, as he stuns, I'm able to get a silent hidden, and then, of course, more locking derps, because obviously it shouldn't prioritize the person on the ground, but that's okay, I still get my kill, but I don't get the double hidden, which is what I was going for before my fucking lock derp like ten times. I thought maybe I was gonna have to like, run away from him because it took so goddamn long to lock him. Uh, anyway, one minute, forty seconds left, almost have 10k, doing extremely well considering I don't have smoke bomb again. Um, you can see I'm being locked, person's coming down the stairs to the right, I back off because... Okay, there we go. This guy's definitely gonna get killed by the brigand. Or not. Alright, I'm gonna knife him. Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay, now check this out, check this out. He's locked, right? He's locked, I'm spamming X. No, 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 no. You, like, I just knifed you, you're locked, I'm spamming X. How do you stun me? How? 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 No, that's no. How? How? How, Malik? Explain that to me. Explain how you could possibly stun me while I'm spamming X. Like, explain that to me. Yeah, no, that's fucking bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Alright, now here. Here, oh yeah, of course, I'm, I'm trying to lock the person right in front of me, and again, the lock system in this game is terrible. <laughs> like... I mean, I, I try not to rage, I try not to be a ragey person, but this game, it brings out the rage in everyone. Freaking, even like Ninkin, like the most chill little kid ever, like, I've seen him rage, I mean, not, like, grant you not full blown out, like, yelling rage, like, no, Ninkin wouldn't do that, but like, he's, he'll say stuff like, oh my god, that was like, 
Not even remotely feasible. How did that just happen? And look at that! There's another! Another locked up. I just locked him! And because that little thing was in the way? Like my lock came off? No! <sighs> anyway, I win the game with an honorable death. I win the game using knives and poison. I hope you all enjoyed that. And I hope you all enjoyed a little bit of my rage concerning the lock system and just the overall shittiness of this game. That being said, I'm not going to stop playing it. I got to warm up for AC3. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next video. Peace out.